Merry Brokemas, you brokey, and have a brokey new year. Yep, because we're all brokies. It is a good word, I don't care who you are. So as I work on my car, because it's broke down for the hundredth time, not being able to go to work, because I'm a peasant! My crypto is absolutely done nothing. Got grease all over my, and it was I. Thank God, thank God for Dawn dish liquid. That stuff does cut grease. Like, what was that Dawn takes the grease away? It does too, man. Like my hand was buried. I'm not, I'm not a mechanic at all. But you got to do what you got to do when you're a brokey, and. Uh, Anywho, how are you doing the day? How's everything on your end of the world? Yeah? Hope you're not getting carjacked or home invaded or drive by or, you know, working at a grocery store. People walk in, take what they want, walk out, don't even pay. Hope you're good. Hope everything's okay. Hopefully your old man ain't beating on you. Or you're beating on him. Or you're beating on each other. Or your children are beating on you. <sighs> Hopefully it's a good, sunny, beautiful, fantastic day wherever you live. You know, minus the Middle East. You know, if you're in Gaza... Yeah, there's not much I can do for you there. Just, you're out of luck. Unless the bombs are dropping around you. Hopefully this day goes by and turns out to be pretty chill. Pretty chill. Yep, being a brokey. Waiting for the market to run again. I see different posts on... Twitter. Oh, we're in a super cycle. 400k Bitcoin. You just can't imagine. We're fixing to go to the moon. Blah, blah, blah. Man, can we at least get to 80k? And then we'll talk. Like, ridiculous. Ridiculousness. We haven't even... Number one, this bull run has been so lackluster, but they're still going to sell you on a 500k Bitcoin. And this bull run has been dumpy and pathetic. You know? So how in the world is it... Oh, well, the institutions are here now. I don't see them making a difference. Like, in the beginning of the bull run, it it kind of... We thought it would, but not so much. They dump on the markets. Bitcoin pumps. Friday through Sunday, Bitcoin pumps. Monday through Thursday, they dump it into the abyss. That's what the institutions have been doing. What about the Ethereum ETF? What's going on with that? Come to find out. See, the Futures ETF, which was when they did that many years ago, and they got Futures ETFs. And now they got spot ETF, which is what we recently have, which is the good one we like. So what are they doing? All the futures are being dumped for the spot. And that's why Ethereum has done nothing. So it's basically what's a good way to what's a good way to put this? Hmm. It's basically taking an old dollar bill and swapping it for a new dollar bill and you're expecting that dollar bill to be worth $2 for it to pump in price and it's not. And you're like, what's going on? I don't understand. We got these new dollar bills. Oh, you forgot about the old dollar bills being cashed out so they could get the new dollar bills. And that's why... You know, inflation is kicking our butt, so to speak. That's the best example I got. So they're dumping all the futures Ethereum ETFs 
all of them are being dumped and swapped for the spot ETFs. Once that ends, once that's over with, then it'll finally catch up to the market and we can see Ethereum start moving to the upside. Yeah. So that's what's been going on there. And what, what's happening is nobody wants to deal with futures anymore because it's all about leverage and whatnot. They can just get the spot. The spot, which is... You know, the, you know, it's an ETF, but it's the value of that product. If it's worth $20, your spot ETF is worth $20. You know? Versus the future, future ETFs, which is it may or may not be worth 20 bucks. Do you want to take a chance? Yeah, so everybody's dumping the futures and going with the spot. Whatever. So whenever that's over with, that should help Ethereum to finally start moving in a positive direction. Bitcoin, we just need interest rate cuts, bottom line. We need quantitative easing, turn the printing press on, interest rate cuts, and then October, November, everybody's happy again. Yeah, especially November, December. Yeah. That's what we need. Ethereum will outperform Bitcoin. Bitcoin's not going to know 400,000, 500, no. You have, will be doing good if Bitcoin even gets to 100K. Bottom line, I don't care what y'all say. This has been a lackluster, dumpy bull run. There's not been anything special about it. It's it's not even, it's it's performing... I mean, the performance of this bull market is nothing compared to even last time. I was here for the last one, so I know. It's not even, it's about half as good as that one. And that one had some dynamic uh, runs. You know, I was late to some, or I sold too early. This, that, and the third, you know. Whatever, it happens. But nonetheless, it's still, it was still pretty good. Now, they say 2017, which I was not here for the 2016, 2017 bull run. I was not here for that. But they say that was better than the one I was here for, the first one, which was 20 and 21. You know? So, it, it basically gets cut in half each bull market, diminishing returns. This is half as good as the last one. Oh, but it's going to 400K. Yeah. We'll be doing good if we get to 100K Bitcoin. Ethereum is going to be the difference maker. It's going to be the one that makes up for the lackluster performance of Bitcoin. You mark that on a little post-it note and stick it on your refrigerator. When we're sitting at 10K Ethereum, and who even knows, it could really overperform. We could really end up at a 20K Ethereum you know, it could really, it could really just do it. Everything's built on Ethereum. So anybody telling you that Ethereum is dead and Ethereum is a dinosaur and blah, blah, blah. Everything is literally built on top of Ethereum. Everything. You know. Ethereum is the foundation that everything is built on top of. Any way you slice it. Everybody forks off from Ethereum. So anywho. At the end of the day. Ethereum's going to blast off. It's going to be the difference maker for us. This, this bull run's not over with. It's just. It's not a very good bull market. It, when it blasts off. This next leg up over the next, you know, I figure, <clears throat> this is what I figure, October, November, December, that's Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum, like some of them, you know, meme coins are going to run regardless. Okay, and then January, February, March, 
uh, April. That'll be all your altcoins and your top tier meme coins. They're basically altcoins like Doge and Shiba and what have you. That'll be the first quarter of, of the next year, 25. And then it's sell in May. In May 2025, sell in May and go away. And that's exactly what you do. Because that's exactly how it plays out every single time. Why would you not do what it's always done? Why would you go against that? Oh, we're never going to end. The bull run's never going to end. And you're going to be stuck, you know, July of 2025 when it's at 95% retracement and you could have sold. You're going to be stuck. You sell it, man, you go away. So we got the next six months. We either make it or we suck dick for McDonald's for the rest of our life. And that's all there is to it. Yeah, there is no in-between. I mean, you could make some money and get out of debt, and, but you have to keep your day job. There is that. So don't overlook that because that is a positive. Like, if you make... Thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000. No, you're not quitting your day job, but you pay all your debt off. Man, don't overlook that. Being debt-free, that would be an, a, a, a big advantage that could help restart. Because you your vehicle may break down. You might need to borrow the money for another vehicle. And since you're debt-free, it's basically like a reset button for you. So there is that. Uh, uh, so that's not... You know, and then you can just, you'll know what to do when the next bull run comes around in 2028. And there will be one in 2028 and 2029. The bull runs are never going to end. It's like the stock market. 150 years later, still the, the stock markets is right here. Where's the stock market going? Nowhere. And neither is the bull market, uh, the crypto market. It's going to be 150 years from now. The crypto market's still going to be here. There's still going to be meme coins. People are still going to invest in it. Somebody's going to, some jack leg that you know of is going to put a hundred bucks on some rando meme coin and walk away a millionaire 150 years from now. So if they tell you it's all going to go away and it's blah, 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 blah. That's all it is. They're just talking trash. This market's never going away. It's just going to get harder you know, to make it. That's all it is. It's just going to get keep getting harder to make it. You know? It's not going to be like the first... We should have been here the first two to three bull runs. And then we could have made it. Because it was young. It didn't take much for it to blast off. It was new and exciting. You know? You didn't have presidents campaigning on it. I mean, we're... It's pretty much... It's, you know... But this bull market, uh, crypto is not going anywhere. There'll always be a new meme coin. Oh, regulations, regulations, reg ah, come on. Go, you think regulations didn't kill the stock market? People getting rich off of the stock market all the time. I don't even hear that. You know, it just that it just is harder, and but it, it's still gonna happen. It's still going to happen for crypto. You're still going to be able to get in a rando meme coin and make substantial gains and you'll be all right. So, you know. As long as you make enough money to get debt free, where it's kind of a reset button, you should be okay. That, realistically, that's what you should shoot for. Because you're, honestly, we're not going to... We're not. Nobody here is making a million dollars. You'd be doing good if you even hit fifty thousand. Like really, you'd be doing. If you hit fifty thousand and you don't take that, you deserve to be done. You deserve. You deserve to be a brokey. <laughs> you deserve to be a brokey. You got. You staring at the screen and it's fifty grand and you don't sell. You deserve to be a brokey. Bottom line, any way you slice it. Yeah, I gotta get out of here. I go get car parts. Work on my vehicle so I can go to work tomorrow like a good brokey. Yep. Anyways, none of this is financial advice. Do your own research. Just crypto news and entertainment.
Eventually this market's gonna go back up though. We're close, we're super close. I mean, it could, it could dip. Like the, the institutions could dump it again to like 45K Bitcoin, you know? They could do that. But there's gonna come a point where interest rates get cut and the printing press is turned on and then, then various other factors. More war. War is profitable for the markets because that means they got to print more money. Um, so that's actually war. <laughs> I hate to say it, but mass genocide works in our favor. I'm sorry, it just does. You know, the more people die in needless, endless wars the more our bags pump. And you don't like it, that's just the way it is. You gotta live with it, you gotta deal with it. Live with it, deal with it. You want your bags to pump, we need World War III. Bottom line. Uh, you know? So, so anyway, with that said, you stay frosty out there.